हरिओम दादा दादा जय माता जय दादा प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट काशी एंड बैरव बाबा काशी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल स्पिरिचुअली ब्यूटीफुल प्लेसेस इन द होल वर्ल्ड काशी का मतलब इफ आई कीप डूइंग डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ काशी आल्सो खत्म नहीं होता है दे से दैट काशी इज इन द त्रिशूल ऑफ बाबा ठीक है now you have to understand that kashi is when i used what i used to feel about kashi i'll tell you i still feel about kashi so kashi ek there's one to there is this natural beauty of kashi okay there are people who come with artistic uh, you know inclinations kashi mein koi baitta hai kuch painting kar raha hai music kar raha hai ye kar raha hai wo sab hai but there is a subcurrent of tremendously uh, very powerful soft attractive beauty that emanates from vishwanath he is so vast that he can control चाहे यहाँ पर हार्ड कोर वेदत्र है जो मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पार्ट्स ऑफ वेदर्स वो उसका कोई साधना हो या समथिंग रिलेटेड टू दैट टू द डीपेस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ अघोर ही इज दन हु कैन हार्मोनाइज बोथ एस्पेक्ट्स स्मूथली विदाउट द स्लाइटेस्ट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दिस इज द पावर ऑफ शिवा इन काशी एंड काशी इज एक्चुअली विचुअली रियलाइज इज नॉट अ फिजिकल प्लेस दैट यू कम थ्रू टेकिंग अ ट्रेन नॉट अ फ्लाइट एक्सेट्रा काशी इज अ स्पेस दैट यू एंटर इन and the one who guards who can enter kashi or not he is bhairav he is kal bhairav bhai ka stay you go beyond all fears at a time if you enter kashi there is no fear but for that for you have to pass to the states where you transcend fear your own fears fear fear when we say fear it should not be fear of ghost spirit ye nahi hai fear of mera exam hai what will i get the result mera job nahi lag raha hai mera paisa nahi ye bhi fear hai yehi fear hai these are the main fears general extraordinary fears are some supernatural wo nahi even these fears you he takes you to that state where you know in simple language you say i don't care anymore we ek dam mast state mein you go theek hai that fearlessness is bhairav tatva slowly 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 he will rebuild you into that state that is the foundation wo aisa bana dega aapka mind and body the aadhar will become so strong you can take anything and then in that condition you are entering you can you are allowed to as a jivatma to enter into that state where there is the real kashi of absolute luminous light wow It's very beautiful wow. and that's how i feel about kashi so uh, when you came to kashi for the first time how was your experience uh first time was 2006 2007 beginning i had come to kashi with a friend of mine so i was going to prayag to take a dip in the uh, in the uh, during the kumbh so that was the first time i had come to kashi and i felt the moment i stepped out of the train i had taken a train i taken a train from i was coming from bangalore so i was working there at that time i took a train journey from bangalore to kashi and from here we were supposed to visit kashi for two days and then go to prayag so first time when i stepped Uh, you know out of the train station and the, it was not even a very good you know not a very comfortable journey let's put it this way just felt magical it just felt i can't describe it this place it so there was lot of dirt lot of lack of cleanliness nothing affected the mind it was like a zone into a different state you are in the presence of something so vast that you do not comprehend it that was the feeling so you feel naturally reverential so i kept my shoes in my i was staying in a lodge small very i think 100 to be or 200 i don't remember was we needed one two days to stay so we i kept the shoes there and i remember the first day i roamed around fully without shoes because it just felt very different ki isme kuch hai jo ekdam alag hai if you want to see the dirt you will see the dirt if you want to see the divine you will see the divine it's how prepared you are somehow i feel baba has been kind to me perhaps some past life things are there i felt wonderful every bit of kashi whether it's visiting baba vishwanath whether it's visiting the manikarnika whether it's visiting kal bhairav every bit of kashi pulsates with an energy it's how, how much of it you can take so dada tell us first we go to kal bhairav then how to go to batuk bhairav or there's a certain way how to do yatra or bhairav right. so uh there are different ways of doing yatra of kashi both uh, there is a standard procedure and all that so if you are in a, into upasana of bhairav baba <coughs> not only kal bhairav kal bhairav vatuk bhairav there are the ashta bhairavas in kashi okay so visiting them is also good but if you have no idea uh, i think one of the one most wonderful temples is the vatuk bhairav temple i really love it 
when I go there, whenever I come here, and I come every year at least once, minimum once, sometimes more than once, I'll go there in the evenings or sometimes, spend at least one hour there meditating or chanting the names of Bhairav Baba. Okay, just simple Bhairav Mantra, nothing complicated. In that, that whole temple itself is charged with the energy of Vatuk Baba. So Vatuk means a small boy. So Baba, Bhairav Baba, when he takes the form of a child, then he becomes Vatuka. And uh, Vatuka's, the Tantras describe Vatuka as Apadud Dharaka. Apadud Dharaka, Apad was a demon, Deep. Asura. He comes in and destroys the Asura. So Apad se jo uddhar karta hai, Apad uddhar. Any type of difficult, anything in the world. If he blesses in, in, jisko kehte Hindi mein, chutki mein, you will see that the ah. difficulties, when the clouds of difficulties will disperse and there will be sunlight into your life. That is typically what Vatuk Bhairav does. He is blessed additionally with the powers of Kali, of Tara, of Chinnamasta, Sab Devi ka power hai. Jo unke paas jo trishul hai, he contains the powers of Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati bhi hai. In fact, the, uh, the extensive Upasana Paddhati of Vatuk Bhairava, uh, which is, of course, if you, do, if you have to do that, you need Diksha and all that. Um, it describes eventually the Nyasa Vatuka invokes all the five forms of Rudra. So it is oh. Shiva himself. Shiva. who comes as Vatuka, the small child. Okay, to save the devotees of the shak, Shakta Sampradaya, Shakti Upasak jo hai, ah. Shakti Upasana ke kram mein hi Vatuk Bhairav and Bhairava comes in, okay? Ah. So in that krama, he saves the devotees from all troubles. Otherwise, what used to be initial, if you do the shak, Shakti Upasana, you will see, ki, you have to worship, achai, Bhut, Pred, Vetal, these hundreds of entities are there, you pacify all of them, slowly, ah. slowly, 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 you go to the main deity. Yes. This is the krama. Ah. It's a polytheistic system like ah. this. Okay. एक वटुक भैरव को आप खुश कर दो, he will take care of all everybody, सब शांत कर देगा। He has the power of all the भैरवस inside him. So if I don't worship Kal भैरव and I directly start worshiping, you can. Vatuk, that is possible. Absolutely, and वटुक भैरव पूजा is more common than Kal भैरव पूजा across India. In my experience, last 20-25 years I have seen uh, devotion to वटुक भैरव a simple उपासना, it's not even complicated to उपासना, वटुक भैरव has increased from like three four times across India. Are there any mantra specific that a beginner can start if uh, they are completely new? So in my opinion, uh, there are many mantras. I won't say out the mantra loud, but if you are starting in Bhairav Upasana, just Om Bhairav Nama is a base thing to, basic thing to start. Okay, yes. for somebody who doesn't know anything, yes. Bhairav Nama, and then start. Or first you do this sadhana for some period yes. of time, few yes. months and all that, yes. and it kind of uh, builds up your uh, basic energy with respect to, aligns it with Bhairav Upasana and then you can shift a very simple Vatuk Bhairav Mantra which is the Om Vatuk Bhairav Ayrama. Just add, this is like a Nama Mantra yes. without any Vijas or anything. Yes. And then there is the 21 Akshari Apadu Dharaka Mantra which comes later on. Later. Okay. But Vatuk Bhairav Upasana is fit for, I believe, for all people. All people. And can be done at home. It is absolutely safe. There is no wow. problem at all. And if he blesses you, we'll see the results, both spiritual and material. Thank you for clarifying because Dada, we get a lot of questions that they are scared if something goes wrong and if something is done wrong, then they will have, Baba will get upset. Is it true or is the mind creating? Because so two things are there in my opinion. Yes. In sadhana, a very valid question you've asked, especially the next part that you added. Yes. Very true. For any upasana, yes. uh, leave aside Batu Bhairav. Say you're doing Ganpati upasana. Yes. And somehow your mind is not gelling with it. Yes. So mind is disturbed. Yes. <coughs> your mind feels that uh, <clears throat> somehow that you know I'm doing something wrong. If your mind is your friend in sadhana or your enemy. Yes. If your mind doesn't agree with what you are doing, even the simplest, most sattvic, safest sadhana can backfire. Yes. Okay. Ye, this has to be very clear. Yes. Now coming specifically to Bhairav Upasana, yes. Vatuk Bhairav Upasana or a simple Bhairav Mantra, Om Bhairav Ayanama. In fact, um, I, I ask people to chant that on Ashtami yes. Tithis yes. and I started this initiative about a year ago. Yes. Okay, as more as a kind of a, uh, for the uplift of Dharma yes. basically and uh, by Baba's grace. So today, when we started a year back, it was difficult to complete even uh, 40, 50,000 Japa in one day, Ashtami Tithis, Ashtami. because we didn't have too many people. Now, in one year, the last Ashtami, there were close to 40 lakh japa of the mantra by different people across India together on that one day. With the simple sankalpa ki dharma raksha ho, Baba's blessing comes to this land because dharma and this land are linked. 
there is no harm at all there should be no confusion in the mind about worshiping simple bhairav mantra yes. simple vatak bhairav mantra also uh, doing at home yes. so long as you do not try any kind of extraordinary stunts yes. let's put it this way okay simple way if you worship no problem in fact i know so many people who have worship bhairav upasana in this one year see 40 lakh japa means there are so many people doing it so right? many people doing it yeah and i would say 80% of the times i keep getting mails uh, the results are more than positive and if yes. if you see that 80% positive results are coming from a deity upasana that yes. is an indication that the deity himself may want people to do it yes yes 100% and another question that is hot cakes was we always get it mm. can a female do sadhana during her period and for four days and even if she can chant mantra so <coughs> so i'll first give you the uh, the classical the shastric opinion yes. on this what the yes. text say so <clears throat> in tantra in tantra mark let's say there are three types of people we consider one is the pashu bhava one is ah. the veer bhava and ah. is the divya bhava divya. so basically pashu bhava is just about everybody in the world yes. okay veer bhava is one who has the tantra diksha yes and divya is the divine divine yes. we don't the tantras don't speak of the divine too ah. much because they are already very high up yes. tantras don't speak of the pashu also too much yes. a bit they say but yes. not too much True. it is the veera who has the initiation yes. still, that is whom the tantra is so general rule in the vedic krama is that if a uh, for a woman when uh, she is in a mantra period you should not do any puja part anything yes. okay yes. in tantra the rules are sampradayas have a differentiation so if you have if somebody has an initiation you can do the puja yes. okay you can do worship the deities yes. uh, for any woman who has the tantra initiation in my experience is that what i've seen practically and this is followed by some sampradayas also so during those four days yes if you are doing any upasana yes. um specifically say so let's say bhairav upasana om yes. bhairavaya namaha you are chanting yes. so you continue the chants but yes. you don't do it in your puja room yes you don't use the normal mala okay you sit somewhere else relaxed way maybe in a bed maybe in the drawing room somewhere else yeah. aram se and you do chanting of it number one number two is that if you are in an anushthan yes say so 40 day anushthan so those four days the chanting that you do is not counted in the 40 days yes and it is not considered as a break also yes okay so if four days if you skip start from the fifth day it's considered as you are doing it continuously so rather than doing the rituals we do manas so we manas puja manas puja we do and better not to do it in the uh, temple Sh- space temple shetra yeah. but this rule will change the moment there are if a if a woman goes to higher states of sadhana yes there are there will be changes in her mind and changes in that state they can do a lot of things that is not for the ordinary person yeah. then that will change completely the for ordinary people this, rule this rule is this is the safest rule in safest my opinion yes. though tantras have the dictum in some tantras that if you yes. have the initiation you can continue the yes. japa as it is yes. in my opinion my experience that i have seen is that it still creates a pro- one of the reasons for the problem is that see your uh, suppose you have a tantra initiation it is likely that you are not born into a family of tantra upasaks so aap you will go somewhere and get it perhaps you will get it at the age of 25 30 35 something by that time you are already conditioned in one way of worship yes it will not switch so easily your mind yes. will still have subconsciously ki maybe this is not right yes that is going to spoil everything yes. immediately so you have to your mind is your friend yes <laughs> yeah. you have to keep follow the dictates of your yeah. mind yeah. you have to keep your mind happy yes and body happy and your environment happy yeah. and do the sadhana yeah. because i believe that the pressure of the mind is put on the deity yes the mind is deity the... will not bother too much yes. but your mind is going to cause so yes. your mind has to be aligned yes. you cannot fight your mind yes it's your mind yes. the <laughs> nobody can fight and the other one more thing is that when we talk about tantra the first thing that comes to the mind is oh he's going to have sex he's going to have alcohol he's going to do this mm. and i believe it is very wrong because the more we understand tantra is the more we are going inward and upward <laughs> so uh these aspects are there in one aspect of tantra yes. kola mark yes okay but there are also dakshinachara tantra yes there are also samayachara tantra yes. in south so those aspects of tantra if you do you don't have to go into this so you can when we are doing the tantra acharams there are seven acharams and yes. three bhavas right yeah. so seven acharam when we go from dakshinachara we go to vamachara ha. from vamachara to siddhantachara from kolachara yeah. so it is not necessary that everybody has to follow this path only if you are suitable for this path yes yes this is one and number two there are certain deities yeah. who respond faster with vamachara oh. and there are certain aspects of the mother who will respond equally with dakshina and vama okay. 
so it is up to you your guru parampara it is so my my position is that that most of the people who have you know taken this out of context and that's wrong that's not how it yes, happens yes at the same time to have a complete rejection ki ye pura galat hai ye bhi galat hai because ah. there are people who have done this great masters yes you, it is not about is this better or that better you yes. find what works for you yes so if dakshinachara i two of my gurus are uh, um, of dakshinachara sampradaya and they are very good okay and when i have uh, questions i ask them and all that so it is not about that only dakshina cha vama cha works dakshina does not work no dakshina will work vama will work you have to understand the process completely and follow it so there are different acharyas in tantra dakshina char hai uske baad vama char siddhanta char kola char so in uh, vama char aspect of tantra upasana these there is a concept known as the pancha makar five tatvas that have to be offered to bhagavati shakti upasana from here on see it is like this from dakshina char it is entirely shakti is primary okay shakti ah. is primary so the rule original niyama niyama was that which in the older kolachar text which is kulana bhai and all that tantras ah. so it says that uh, see you complete your vedachar then shaivachar vaishnavachar acha when you say just so that people don't misunderstand when we are talking about shaivachar and vaishnavachar we are not talking typically vaishnavism and shaivism ah. acharam means the mode of behavior ah. so shaivachar means one who behaves in the mode of somebody who is knowledgeable by the time you go into shaivachar you have read the scriptures so you know the puranas kya bol rahe hai you conduct your life according to that okay vaishnavachar the element of bhakti becomes very strong bhakti could be to anybody it need not be only vishnu this is what the tantra is speaking okay so your gyana is already done your bhakti is already done then you enter the tantra diksha into dakshinachar now it is bhagavati okay har realm shakti pasana chalu ho raha so in dakshinachar the whole puja paddhati you have the right to worship at night acha till according traditionally they say that till the dakshinachar process you should not worship at night Haan. but these days people do that it's okay i'm not don't take it as a hard and fast rule but this was the original idea so you do not worship at night you do your puja paddhati in day time you follow during puja the normal mode so satvik lifestyle is necessary and all the things are there jo which we standard um, associate with uh, sadhana दक्षिणाचार पद्धति में वंस यू एंटर टू दक्षिणाचार इन भगवती उपासना द वीज मंत्रस कम इनटू द प्ले ठीक है वीज मंत्रस वन ईच ऑफ दिस मंत्रस कंटेन कोडेड शक्ति ऑफ द देवता ओके एंड यू एक्टिवेट द वीज मंत्रस स्लोली देन देयर आर यंत्रस देन देयर आर मंडलस देन देयर आर पूजा पद्धतीज ओके द गुरु विल टीच यू मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंटली देयर इज अ दीक्षा एंड हियर द दीक्षा इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट इट्स नॉट एन उपदेशम माइंड यू देयर इज अ डिफरेंस उपदेश मींस आई टेल समबडी कि आप ओम भैरवाय नमः चैंट करो ये उपदेश हो गया लेकिन तंत्र इज सेइंग द दीक्षा दैट हैज टू कम फॉर शक्ति उपासना सी भैरव बाबा आई फील इज वेरी काइंड सो ओम भैरवाय नमः चल जाएगा लेकिन इफ यू हैव टू गो डीपर इनटू तंत्र ऑफ शक्ति उपासना यू विल नीड शक्त अभिषेक दीक्षा हां टू द एक्सटेंड दैट सम तंत्रस आई मीन इन द लिटिल हाइपरबोलिक मैनर दे से दैट बिना अभिषेक दीक्षा इफ यू आर डूइंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मंत्रस ऑफ भगवती ऑफ देवी ऑफ महाविद्या स्पेसिफिकली इट इज एज गुड एज डूइंग अभिचारा you're doing black magic on yourself hmm. just a hyperbolic way of putting it but the what the idea is that uh, so uh, abhishek is a puja basically shakta abhishek is a proper puja that is done in which the deity the guru gives you the ishta devata mantra hmm. and tells you that tells the other entities beings etc sabko puja karke bolte hain ki now this so and so individual he is in this uh, marga of shakti upasana hmm. is going to do sadhana of this mantra hmm. let all the vada vigra jo hai let all get dispersed because of this if you don't have the diksha and keep chanting some of the other effects counter effects will come into your life and they may not be easy to detect also by the way hmm. okay so it can happen in some other area of your life and unless your mind is very subtle you will not figure ki isme kuch link hai ha you will keep going yaha mera sadhana chal raha i am doing very good very good so that is the importance of diksha it's a protection okay So then it is not gatekeeping mind you lot of people think that mai it's it's kind of a gatekeeping are diksha bina kyun diksha ka zarurat hai diksha ka isliye zarurat hai ki if you have the diksha it protects you in the path going on aur pichle zamane mein to mantras were not open aaj to google mein mil jata hai aapko sab mantra das ke das mahavidya mil jayenge aapko sach mein after the dakshina chara puja all things are allowed night puja is allowed everything is allowed but the offerings are sattvic acha to bhagwati all the offerings have to be sattvic theek hai so you will use the standard requirements so basically for example in the dakshinachara puja when you are if you are doing a tantra puja of devi so you have to offer or any deity argha you have to offer vishesh argha and all that 
Vishesharga is a specific thing that you need to. So those will be all sattvic ingredients. Okay, everything will be sattvic. So water scented with some, you know, specific sugandhit uh, items and things like that. Flowers, uh, sweets, different things, all sattvic. Dakshina. Now here is a bifurcation that happens. So in Sri Vidya Sampradas, most of them, not all, a lot of them, Sri Vidya Sampradas in South specifically, uh, they take Dakshinachara and they, there's another one called Samayachara into that is the final to go. So uh -huh. they follow this Achara only. The mantras will increase. So mantras of Chibu Sundari will increase uh -huh. in Sri Vidya. So you start with one mantra, then the Krama. Uh, then she has many mantras. Hmm. Okay, one, same deity, the mantra is changing. Changing, okay, uh -huh. like that. But your Achara is same. Dakshinachara you are following. Achha. Same, your offerings are always sattvic to Lalita in the Dakshinachara Vaddhati. Now, there is also the Kolamar, which ah. is the Vamachara comes Vamachara. in. So, in Bengal and Eastern India side, Vamachara is very prominent. Ah. To Kalikula, Vamachara is almost the de facto. Maa Kali ke liye jo hota hai. So, in Vamachara, same Paddhatis of Puja you are doing. Jo Dakshinachara tak, jo what you have learned properly, you are doing the same things. With one addition, there is a panchatattva that has to be offered to Bhagavati mm. and Pratyaksha panchatattva. Pratyaksha means as it is. Ah. So there comes this infamous from which the Tantra gets its bad name or bad whatever, name. the five makaras, Makara. makara Madhya, yeah, Mamsa, yes. Matsa, Mudra, Maithun, all this have to be offered. Okay. But it has to be offered in a specific manner, yeah. with a specific mantra, uska ritual, hai, processes. Ah. Hai. Ah. It's not just a, you know some indulgence kind of thing. Ah. So in this regard, it is also and it's also important to understand that all the panch tattva need not be offered as it is. The guru can tell you, you may offer some tattvas, some tattvas you may offer anukalpa. Anukalpa means substitute of that. Okay. So all the five, so meat has to be offered, fish has to yeah. be offered, okay, mudra has to be offered, uh, karan has to be offered. Yeah. Karan is basically ritually sanctified alcohol. Huh. So Vedic Paddhati mein, alcohol is a curse. Curse yeah. of Shukracharya, of Krishna, huh. these curses are there. Huh. In the Tantra Paddhati, in Vamachara, there's a puja that has to be done where that curses are removed and then Sudha Devi is worshipped, Ananda Bhairav is worshipped and then you are, that becomes Amrita, Amriti Karan ho jata uska. Mm. Then you offer it to the gods. Okay, but it only when who has the Adhikara for it, number one and number two who knows how to purify, purify. Karan. Yeah. So it becomes Karan, we don't call it anything else. Mm. Okay, it can take you to the Karan Shari, that is why. So in fact, Tarpan bhi usi se hoga, Devata hoga. Us paddhati mein agar koi katta hai, including Ganpati Puja, everything A to Z, okay, but if you violate that, Kularnava says this, so he says that the Kula Paddhati is the highest of all, Vamachar is anti-clockwise Puja, Avita you are doing the right side production of Bhagavati, right, yeah. now she says now see the other side production, you have tested the power of your sadhana in the normal settings, let's change the settings completely and see if you can still attain to the same state, this is Vamachar. Dono jaga kaam karega, then your mantra is siddha. Then it goes to siddhanta char. Siddhanta means correct knowledge. Correct knowledge. Your mind has gone to that state by the grace of the Ishtadevi that you know what is the right thing to do. Right paddhati to apply. You are equally comfortable with Dhamachar and Dakshinachar now. Uske upar jo stage hai, uha Kolachar. Kolachar is where you are like a self-realized saint, only not in the Advaitic format. It is self-realization of the deity. Deity. Okay. You become one with the deity almost. And your mind is divine then. You are you are like the self, that grand self. You are in that highest states. Okay. And they say that there is nothing beyond Kola. Kola he Shiv ke sarup hai. Shiv ke sarup. You are comfortable with Vamachar, you are comfortable with Dakshinachar, yeah. you are comfortable with Samachar, you are comfortable with anything. Okay, because you have become one with the deity. It's the deity who inspires you to do this sadhana. Deity, you realize that it is not you who is doing, you are a nimitta matra. She is getting it getting. done through your mind and body and you are a vessel. Or who is the great Upasak? Who becomes a greater vessel? Just may blockages come hai, jo pura instruction, us inspiration follow kar sakta, he or she becomes the Siddha. It is their power that works the mind and body. It's a very high state of very high state. Very high state. Very high state. So this is the Kolachara. Now what people have done is, books are easily available these days. Yes. Everything is easy. Yes. You just do a Google search, sab mil yes. yeah, Whatever I'm telling you, it is there in the internet also. Yes. In fact, it is there to the extent that in foreign universities they write research papers on this. Yeah, Tantra has come to the unfortunate state where on one hand you have foreign uh, you know, universities doing research on all this. 
so they learn Sanskrit, they dig out texts. There are a lot of Tantric texts which are coming out now. It is yes. just not in come out. True. So they are doing all this, and uh, their research is good. Their conclusions are wrong because they don't do the sadhana, in my opinion. Yes. So it's yeah. under it. उसका द डेटाज आर करेक्ट बट इवेंचुअली इवेंचुअली जो कंक्लूशन में वो लास्ट लाइन अच्छा इसका मतलब फिर ये है दोज आर नॉट करेक्ट आई फील दैट्स बिकॉज दे डोंट गो थ्रू द प्रोसेस आउटसाइडर व्यू से तो आपको पता नहीं चलेगा ना वाई दिस इज बिन डन दिस इज वन थिंग सो ऑल दिस आर ओपन इन दी सो दैट्स वॉट इज एपेंड इज दैट so in west specifically when the word tantra is used it means that there's a license to have meat and yes, alcohol yes. and indulgence only theory no practical no, no practical in the india in india it is just the opposite theek hai ye bahut kharab cheez hai ye to ekdam are baap re baap kya ho raha hai theek hai so dekhna nahi ekdam sar baat so there is no mean line in between and this kind of misinformation has happened for the last 50 years from the time of independence या तो एकदम एक्सट्रीम में चला गया और या इधर पे सब नाक बंद करके बैठे रहो कि नहीं नहीं हम लोग तो ये ऐसे नहीं है बट द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ आचार द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ दी सिद्धर्स महासिद्धर्स दे ऑल फॉलोड दे फॉलोड वाम आचार कोल आचार सब क्या है इट्स ऑल रिटन डाउन द फैक्ट दैट डज इट वर्क और नॉट इफ द क्वेश्चन कम्स दैट इज इट गुड और बैड आपको कैसे पता चलेगा यू आर नॉट लॉर्ड शिवा ठीक है यू विल रिएक्ट टू योर ओन बायस मेरे को ये इतना ही पता है मेरे घर से इतना ही सिखाया गया इससे ज्यादा कुछ सब गलत होगा इससे नहीं होगा रेडियो दैट इज नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिवली वर्क्स टू फाइंड आउट इफ अ पाथ वर्क्स इन नॉट फाइंड आउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द पाथ फाइंड आउट द पीपल हु हैव वॉक्ड ऑन दैट पाथ हाउ मेनी सिद्धर्स कैन यू नेम इन दिस हैज देयर बीन हाउ लॉन्ग इज दिस पाथ गोइंग ऑन एटलीस्ट 2000 इयर्स वामाचार्य चल रहे जो वामाचार्य में आर्ट देयर सिद्धर्स यस देयर आर आई कैन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ माय हेड आई कैन नेम 5 6 7 सिद्धर्स इन कश्मीर द पूरा जो भैरव तंत्र का सबसे main area that was there uh, whether it's abhinav gupta and his kula uh, great upasakas polymath geniuses they used vamachar they written very clearly in fact he writes such a beautiful passage that how karan or what we call purified alcohol is the consciousness of bhairava brings the shock purists out of his head, mind and he's talking about ki kaun sa offer karna hai kaise banana is cheez ko the one that you can make an offer that is the greatest of all instead of buying from somewhere डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शंस आर गिवन ए टू जेड कोई पड़ता नहीं है पीपल हु रीड आर इन द वेस्ट एंड देन दे ड्रॉ लॉन्ग कंक्लूशंस और यहां पे कोई पड़ता नहीं है सो देयर इज अ काइंड ऑफ ग्राम या सो एनीवे माय पॉइंट इज दैट इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी टू गो इनटू कोलाचारा इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी टू गो इनटू वामाचारा यू कैन फॉलो द दक्षिण आचारा पद्धति आल्सो ओनली थिंग इज दैट इफ यू एंटर इनटू शक्तु उपासना तंत्र उपासना फॉलो योर आचारम हैव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द आचार आचारस दैट्स ऑल You need not enter there, but ah. you know that that works because great men have walked that path and mm. attained to the highest states using that. That means that is walking. So, its Google Maps is right. It reaches the right direction. So, this is what the thing is. Uh, Dada, what is your association? Uh, of course, we know it is with Karl Karl Bhairav Baba. So, what is your association with Bhairav Baba and Bharat? And what is your role? What is your intention, and how Bharat should be? so i uh, so coming back to one of the points that i mentioned uh, last year uh, about a year uh, last year so i just got this thought that we should do some vishesh upasana of bhairav baba on ashtami tithis so uh, basically me and a group of uh, my people who my guide in sadhana so we just started casually on ashtamis to do bhairav mantra simple bhairav om bhairava nama but not for ourselves the idea was to do it as a kind of uh, as a service to the nation to dharma for the sake of dharma samrakshana okay protection of dharma because dharma of as dharma rises genuine dharma rises then it will also protect the land it will protect the people and it will help uh, the nation to grow culturally spiritually aesthetically in every sense and materialistically also uh, with that thought in our mind nothing more than that we just started doing simple bhairav japas on that day and we were able to do hardly say 30 40000 japa or something like that in one year every ashtami acha along with that we also gather funds and we do <coughs> uh, annadanams in different ved patshalas across yeah. india and then we do uh, pujas vishesh pujas of bhairav baba in different temples whether it's mahakal whether it's uh, some other places and all that uh, on the ashtami tithi with the same sankalpa that it is for dharma it is not for an individual not for me not for anybody else but for dharma larger dharma by the blessings of bhairav baba today in one year's time the amount of japa in the last ashtami that people did was close to 40 lakhs 40 lakhs understand that in one year's time okay and organically people got connected 
and they started doing japa and we have uh, i have some uh, telegram group also which my people manage but more idea is most idea is that it is only for these vishesh sadhanas that we encourage people to do on ashtami tithis with the idea that there is a certain count the certain small rules are there very basic that can be done by anybody so this increase of this sadhana from uh, you know a few thousand maybe 30 40000 yes to 40, 40 lakhs yeah. in one year is not possible without the blessings of the deity himself he wants it to be done i believe in two years time this is going to go into crores and we need to do crores a country with a population of 1 billion usme 40 lakhs to kuch bhi nahi hai it should eventually go to the extent that every ashtami tithi there should be 8 to 10 crore japa bhairav nama it's simple processes that you can do at home so uh, you don't bhairav sunke log ko dal lagta hai waisa nahi you don't have to go anywhere very rare place and think sit, sit in your home in your normal puja space and do certain japa of him with the idea that it helps to build up shakti in mm. this land okay mm. i believe that we are at a stage where uh, bhairav upasana as it increases it will help both dharma it will help the individual who participates in it in fact i get to see messages and mails in my mailbox i mean i can't read most of them but even if i glance through them uh, 80% of people experience many benefits by just doing the nama japa bhairava yes. so nama japa not even a visa is there yeah. om bhairava nama anybody can do okay but if you do it with certain degree of faith with shraddha with bhakti and if you keep repeating the process every ashtami you will sense the blessings of bhairav baba in your life and it will streamline your life into a greater goal it will help dharma and it will help you also as an individual yes. okay i believe in the coming 10 years bhairav upasana will increase a lot in this country um, in a way from 13th century perhaps around 12th 13th century when bhairav upasana was at its peak in kashmir and other places so all the great uh, tantric literature and the great masters who were from kashmir they were in one way or the other bhairav upasaks their difference is that bhairav is not a kshetrapal he is not just a protector of space he is the para bhairav the ultimate consciousness from him everything else yeah. has come okay yeah. so same bhairava who then comes in today again when we are doing the uh, sadhana when we are you know these number of people are worshiping uh, bhairava it is going to cause an upsurge in the shakti and the play of the deity in the physical plane that devata will start getting more active in our plane and yes. bhairav baba as he gets more active and he wants to be more active otherwise yes. he how is 40 lakh possible in one year true. okay true when i hardly went in and as a koi door to door campaign bhi nahi hai and baise i just mentioned casually yes people connected organically yes. and they true. started doing it yes. and it will keep increasing times yes. so once that is done he will be able to it will create a strong protective force yes. for dharma for this land for hindus for people in general in this space dada is uh, bhairav baba and shiv baba sadhana done together it can be done together it can there's be no done together. problem in that there's no problem in that it will uplift more easily or there are certain rules and regulations that you <coughs> have to be aware about any day to upasana can be done yes. there is nothing per se that you cannot worship x y z no i am not yes. saying that so you can worship ganpati you can worship devi you can yes. worship uh, i myself worship do a lot of devi upasana yes. yes. shiva upasana but right now the kind of atmosphere that we are in the kind of energy the kind of tamas that we are in yes okay the kind of tamasic energy that this land is in yes. to uplift somebody this whole land from that kind of darkness in yes. a way psychological darkness yes it requires the force of a devata like bhairava Bhair. and he is baba is very kind and is willing to take willing that role yes. that's what i feel yes. so that is why it is increasing and yes two years you give it you will see that it will skyrocket like anything yes. okay and in the next 10 years 10 15 years this will bring tremendous changes in and around india chetra you will see even geopolitical changes happen yes. because of this okay and eventually if baba allows if baba is kind enough by his yes. will it's a long term goal i have yes. to create eight bhairava temples across india that should be so grand and powerful and beautiful yes. i have the conception in my head what how it should be inside uh, what are the vigrahs and all what uh, methods of upasana will be followed and etc Uh, locations and all baba will only provide where it has yes. to come he decides yes. where he wants his space wo aisa banna chahiye it should last for centuries and centuries and should be able to protect the land think about it india we got independence in 47 yes pehla kaam kya one third of the land went off ha alag ho gaya so your kshetra has been broken 
Why? That is because the one who is to protect the Kshetri, you have not worshipped him since the 13th century. Yes. It's a very simple logic. Anybody can understand. The one who actually protects protects the land, Kshetra. Kshetra, whole of India is like a divine Kshetra. The deity whose primary role is Kshetra, who knows the Kshetra, protects the land, sufficient amount of worship has not happened. So it has not happened. You are losing land here, you are losing land there. God knows what we are losing in another 10, 20 years. That is why the Upasana of Bhairav Baba is absolutely important in my opinion. All deities are good. Yes. I am not saying that others are good. You mm. do your... So I have people who do their Ishta Upasana. Yes. So be it. Mm. Krishna Upasana you are doing. Ganpati Upasana you are doing. Apna ah. Ah. Ashtami Dithis you dedicate to Bhairav Baba. Uske mm. upar extra little bit you do to Bhairav Baba on ah. Ashtamis. And you do it with the Sankalpa, it's not for you. It's for Dharma. Yes. That is the highest... That is sadhana, the highest... Highest sadhana, sadhana for others, never yes. for... Uh, Dada, I remember first time when I had a, I messaged you and you said I'm entering Kamakya Ma. Please throw some light on your association with Kamakya. <coughs> so Ma Kamakya is my Ishta Devi. Yes. Okay. But uh, in Tantra Sadhana, Kamakya is the highest pita, in yes. my opinion. Yes. It is so high that in the old text, so today we know that there are 51 Shakti Pitas. In the original state, there were four Shakti Pitas. Yes. Char. Uh, four most powerful Peters that we find in the old text. Of them, the three of them are kind of lost. Lost means there's a confusion. Some say that it was in Afghanistan area, some say ah. in different areas and all that. One of them is Kamakya. So Kamakya is one of those Peters that has been continuously worshipped, continuously, uh, uh, you know, revered for at least two to three thousand years. You will find very rare temples ever that is yeah. continuously worshipped for this. And she is the highest deity of Vamachara, in a way. She, she wor- you can do Dakshinachara Upasana of Mahakamakya. If she is kind, she can bless anybody. She is very, she's, she's, she has her own nature. <laughs> she is a very uh, ferocious uh, no. deity. That Somya is, the yeah. Somya Ugrati Ugra. She can be softest of the soft. And she can change to the most brutal of all deities. So, the Kalika Puran gives a very yes. esoteric description of Mahakamakya in a sloka. She says that this deity is like this. One day she is like a woman who has just gotten married to her beloved. Okay, and after the first night of consummation, when she is up, she is in a very beautiful mood, yeah. absolutely happy. Everything yeah. in her life is working perfectly. Yeah. That is Kamakya. Yeah. And the next moment she can pick up a sword and she becomes Chandu. Yes, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> very true. Because whenever anyone hears Kamakya, they are like, oh no. Uh-huh. Be very aware, it's very... But I think the actual Sarup is Divine Mother. Yes, and she is Divine Mother. She is Divine Mother, but... Uh, and she also is... In a way, she is Nirakar, actually. Yeah. She can manifest all the ten Mahavidyas from herself. All the Mahavidyas, she will become her. She can become Tripur Sundari, she can become Kali, Chinmasta. she can become Chinnamasta, she can become Tara. She can. There is a famous story of um, from some of the Tantras that yeah. come. That Rishi Vashishtha, yeah. uh, from the Rudrayamal, Brihad Nila, few, four or five tantras mention this story. Yeah. And though some controversy is there, some people believe that it was later interpolated, but I think that it is mentioned in the text, we take it as it is. Yeah. So they say that Rishi Vashishtha, who was the Manasputra of Brahma, oh. he goes to worship Mahamaya. When oh. he says, Brahma, that Lord give me a way to worship, he gives him some mantra sadhana of Mahamaya. He comes to Kamakya and he worships for 1000 years, doesn't oh. succeed. And then he gets furious. He's a rishi. Ah, ah. And he's not ordinary rishi, he's ah, a Brahma rishi. Yeah. Ah. So he says that I'm going to curse this Vidya. Ah. He, agar, if I don't succeed, nobody else will succeed. Okay, ah. like that. He gets very furious. Then there is a Daivavani, divine voice. Ah. Okay, uh, and a female deity's voice and says that no, your method is wrong. Your acharam is wrong. She will not be pleased by this achar. That is why you are not succeeding. So then he tells Rishi Vashishta, you go to Chinachar. Chinachar is perhaps say Tibet area and all those. This is pre-Buddhistic. Ha. Ha. Okay. So this he goes there and uh, he sees a very peculiar scene. There's a man who's sitting like an auger, full white hair, ha. untied, not too uh, neat and clean. Ha. And in front of him there's a ball of meat, there's a ball of alcohol, and there are three very beautiful women around him. Okay. Just sitting there. And just by looking at him, Vashishta gets angry. 
नारायण विष्णु Okay, has come down, and those three de- women suddenly turn into Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati. Okay, and then he blesses Vashishtha and says that I have taught you something. This paddhati you follow, you will succeed. From there he goes to Tarapit. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, yeah. He goes to Tarapit, and then he follows that paddhati and he succeeds in the sadhana. Yeah. And that is how the beginning of the Panchatattva Puja Panchat. starts. So in a way, it is linked to Kama Khyam. Okay, because I have heard about him doing sadhana at Tarapit. Yes. the skal sadhana to so inform okay okay so he learns from there he learns from there okay and then he goes to tarapit and in tarapit also he succeeds in tarapit but when the form of ugratara comes she so fears that he tells her that uh, my people in kali yuga can't worship this form it's too fears and then she transforms herself she transforms herself means she imprints her energy on a stone yes and that energy changes it's the energy of a of a woman with a child okay suckling so she becomes like a mother to shiva ha huh, that is that image that image gets imprinted on a stone that stone is the brahma shila that is kept inside the taravit temple and worship today as ugratara wohi hai on that you have the rajvesh of ma the mask that is put ha huh. <coughs> this is a very fantastic change that happens ugratara is absolutely fierce yeah. matara if you worship you will see it's brilliant when if you enjoy bahut maza aayega ha or if you don't enjoy you'll get scared that's all <laughs> so that is the brahmashila of matara and brahmashila of matara on that we have the rajvesh of matara and that is the worship that is done so this transition of tara ugratara to this form of matara which is unique to tarapit yeah. it is also a compassion of the devata for human beings ki koi le nahi payega unka jo ugra swarup hai it is so fierce so uh-huh. the description is like this in not just the description if somebody has diksha even people with tantra diksha i'm talking okay if you people with tantra diksha once you start doing ugratara anushthans you will face certain degree of tandav around uh-huh. acha iska ye matlab nahi hai ki maa tara ke bhakti na karo ye main ekdam nahi bol raha in fact bengal side mein to even in the small auto also in fact jai maa tara everywhere that's yes. wonderful we love maa tara yeah to have bhakti for a devata is one thing आप कहीं पे चले जाओ भैरव बाबा के पास चले जाओ माता के पास चले जाओ मां कामाख्या के पास चले जाओ हाथ जोड़ के कुछ मांग लो इफ इट इज इन योर डेस्टिनी एंड शी इज काइंड शी विल गिव यू वन थिंग साधना में एंट्री हो जाओ ना साधना अलग चीज है साधना में यू आर नॉट आस्किंग हर फॉर समथिंग यू वांट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म योरसेल्फ सो दैट यू कैन हैव अ कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनियन विद हर देवता के रिफ्लेक्शन बनना है ताकि आप देवता इज वास्ट वी आर दिस मच छोटा सा लाइफ है छोटा सा माइंड है ये देखते देखते बस 50 60 70 इज खत्म बात तो दे आर सरवाइव दे दे आर देयर इवन बिफोर माने जो अर्थ के क्रिएशन से पहले से भी है एंड टुमारो इफ ऑल ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर फिनिश्ड द डेटाज विल स्टिल बी देयर यस ट्रू ओके दे विल ऑलवेज बी देयर फॉर देम वन ह्यूमन लाइफ इज लेट मी ब्लिंक ऑफ एन आई भी नहीं है कुछ नहीं सो दे सी ह्यूमन बीइंग्स एज वेरी सुपरफिशियल दे आर लव एंड देयर हेट देयर एंगर सब कुछ सुपरफिशियल है कुछ नहीं तो वो आते नहीं है पास दूर से बस मांगना है मांग के चले जाओ ठीक है इतना तक ठीक है साधक वो है कि बोलता है कि नहीं मुझे मांगना नहीं आई वांट टू नो यू बेटर आई वांट टू कम क्लोज टू यू आई वांट टू एंटर इनटू योर ऑरा देन द सेम डेटी जो आपको जो मांग रहे हो सब दे रहा है मां तारा कितना अच्छा है मैं एग्जाम पास हो गया मेरा पैसा यहां पे नहीं आ रहा था ये हो गया मेरा तबीयत ठीक हो गया शी विल चेंज हर फॉर्म इमीडिएटली ट्रू ट्रू ठीक है 100% 100% एंड शी विल शो कि शी विल सी टेस्ट कि तुम्हें उतना दम है कि नहीं वो तुम्हारा डेप्थ कैसा है डीएनए स्टैंड तक हां शी विल लाइक यू नो वो कपड़ा धोने के बाद वी डू दिस रिंग ऑफ द क्लोथ बिफोर निचोड़ ना करेक्ट तो वैसे करके शी विल डीएनए डीएनए तक शी विल टेस्ट दैट वेदर यू हैव दिस डेप्थ हर भैरव इज नोन एज अक्षोभ्य अक्षोभ्य मींस अनशेकेबल ये तो यहीं से पता चल रहा है कि व्हाट शी एक्सपेक्ट्स ऑफ यू द भैरव तत्व ऑफ अ डेटी विल टेल यू कि तुम में क्या तत्व है वो तत्व तुम में रिफ्लेक्ट होना चाहिए वंस यू बिकम लाइक अक्षोभ्य आई एम नॉट सेइंग यू कैन बिकम अक्षोभ्य यू रिफ्लेक्ट लाइक अक्षोभ्य कि एकदम दृढ़ता आ गया माइंड में So whatever happens, I am not shifting. Mm. Then she will. She is like that. It's like I tell people, if you keep a tiger at home, 
तो खेलते खेलते भी खरोच लग सकता है इट इज नेचर सो यू कैनॉट देन से दैट मुझे क्यों लग गया फिर तुम आप कुछ और जगह में भक्ति कर लो ये तो हिंदुज्म का यही तो दिस इज द ग्रैंडनेस ऑफ धर्म देर इज गणपति देर इज लॉर्ड कृष्णा देर इज बाबा विश्वनाथ देर इज माँ तारा आप अपने स्वभाव के अनुसार आप डिसाइड करो और खुद नहीं कर पाओगे इसीलिए गुरु की जरूरत है गुरु टेल्स यू की वॉट इज योर नेचर हु इज द राइट डेटी जो अ पर्सन इज फिट टू वर्शिप माँ तारा आप उनको बाल गोपाल दे दो कुछ नहीं होने वाला है हजार साल तक पूजा करेगा कुछ नहीं आ रहा है Somebody who's supposed to worship Bal Gopal, unko matara de do, to heart attack ho jayega. Ah, <laughs> fact hai. So that right alignment is the beauty of a polytheistic system, beauty of dharma, beauty of the gurus, and matara is this transition. In fact, very interesting thing that happens in tantra is that it's believed that the mantra of tara undergoes a slight change, modification in the vija. Oh, with ah. higher. Na, higher nahi. This is the Swarupa of Tara when when Vashishta was doing in Kamakya, the form, the Daivavani, he had heard, heard that was of Tara, Ugra Tara. She is very fierce, extremely fierce. It's so fierce that you can't take that form because you cannot take that form. So the mantra changes a bit. This form in Tara bit, me, the Ma ka puja jata hai, the form me, there is a slight change in the vijakshar of the mantra, and this is reflected in this story. Mein. Achha, that... The original vija is. very tibra very ugra i mean to give you an example two years ago i was sitting um, ch- talking to a very senior tantra upasak very capable tantra upasak tarapit mein rehte the is no more and much senior and is like this very hardcore guys wo aise wala nahi wo if he says two sentences usme 10 gali rahega and all that uh-huh. very unfiltered uh-huh. hardcore so he's smoking and all that i'm sitting with him and he's then asking me in bengali is asking me acha matara makes a promise to bama khapa without ah. bama khapa there is no ma ah, no ma yes ah. true because yeah you know nahi to tara bit to kitne saalon se aaj itna famous kyun hai bamde wahan pe the yes to he is like bhairav only ah. to bamdev ko ma tara ne ye blessing diya tha ki ma tara ka jo veej mantra hai uh, which you should not chant nobody should chant without diksha or without a guru in my opinion it's very fierce it's not like om bhairav nam ठीक है वो फुल तांडव विल स्टार्ट इन अराउंड यू वंस यू डू साधना ऑफ दैट मंत्र सो माता राय गिवन अ ब्लेसिंग टू वामा खपा दैट एनी साधक तारापीठ क्षेत्र में उस मंत्र का इफ ही डज 1 लाख जप ऑफ द मंत्र ही विल गेट ब्लेसिंग्स एंड सिद्धिस ऑफ माता राय वेयर एज अकॉर्डिंग टू तंत्रस दैट मंत्र रिक्वायर्स एट लीस्ट 3 टू 4 लाख जप सो 1/3 ऑफ द जप में काम होगा इफ ही डू इट देयर तारापीठ बट दिस जेंटलमैन इज आस्किंग मी जी अच्छा इतना बताओ हजारों लोग तो आते रहते तारा भी डोंट ट्रेन आर देयर दिस एंड देयर हंड्रेड्स एंड देयर व्हाई हैज इट एनीबॉडी सैट एंड डन वन लाख जपा इन द क्रिमेशन ग्राउंड ऑफ तारा भी एटसेट्रा आई एम इट्स अ रेटोरिकल क्वेश्चन मैं चुपचाप सुन रहा हूं जो वाले सो देन ही इज सेइंग दैट यू स्टार्ट ऑफ बाय द टाइम 10000 जपा गेट्स ओवर यू स्टार्ट सीइंग थिंग्स अराउंड यू बैठे हो जहां पे हां रूल्स आर देयर वंस यू स्टार्ट द जब यू कांट गेट अप एंड रन एंड ऑल दैट संकल्प रहेगा पूरा टू बी स्टडी टिल द हां एंड ही इज सेइंग दैट बाय द टाइम 30000 डू यू डू ना वो योर रिबर्थ हो जाएगा ऐसा चीज स्टार्ट्स हो जाए थिंग्स यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू इट बिकॉज़ इट इज इट विल इनवोक सच थिंग्स या एंड दिस इज द इट्स वेरी टिपिकली माथर शी स्टार्ट्स विद दिस तांडव बट इफ यू कैन सरवाइव दैट देयर इज नॉट नोबडी लाइक हर द फास्टेस्ट ऑफ ऑल महाविद्यास इन द वर्स्ट ऑफ सरकमस्टेंसेस शी विल पुल यू आउट एंड ऑल आई कैन से इज दैट शी हैज सेव्ड मेनी 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 टाइम्स आई मीन आई एम जस्ट इंडेटेड टू हर That's, You're very blessed to be there. What a it's very powerful, it's wonderful, very powerful. Uh, uh, it is very powerful. Uh, Dada, um, see when we enter Kashi, we have to go to Kal Bhairav and then we go to Vishwanath. Okay. Can you please tell us the way how to do darshan in Kamakya? If you're going for the first time, yes. so Kamakya is very, very the uh, the the shakti in Kamakya is very wide. Yeah. Everything is there. It's up to you how far you can take. Yeah. So if you're going, if somebody is going for the first time to Kamakya. do 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 darshan darshan of 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 production the 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 temple as as much much you you can can and and one one puja this this is enough enough just just meditate don't 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 try anything new there don't ponder wonder, Haan, just do your job and leave yes because kamakya, <coughs> kamakya is like a live wire in my opinion yeah. okay uh, it's easy easy to go there uh, communication has become easy. very easy. Haan, koi jata, uh, one day was in kamakya a few months ago and i'm seeing there's a bus full of people who are coming there jo mane jaise tourist bus type hota hai na wo idhar udhar ghumna hai so sab they are getting down from the bus se 
नीचे दे गेटिंग डाउन किसी को कुछ नहीं पता गामा के बारे में कुछ oh. नहीं पता सो दे आर लाइक दे सी दैट ये क्या सो टू माँ कामाख्या फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब पूजा होता है बलि विधान होता है मीट इज ऑफर टू माँ कारण इज ऑफर टू माँ ये पद्धति है उसका सो इफ यू हैव नो साइकोलॉजिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दीज थिंग्स पहली बार आप देख रहे हो तो यू गेट शॉक्ट नाउ दैट इज वेयर आई से दैट यू हैव टू हैव सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द प्लेस इट इज नॉट अ प्रॉपर रिएक्शन टू गेट शॉक और गेट वेरी अनर्व बाई इट इट इज लाइक आप किसी के घर पे जा रहे हो एंड जाके इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ मिस बिहेवियर ओके सो I am not saying you have to do that. I am saying that वहाँ का वो रीत है. Guidelines. Guidelines. Ah. So you follow your पद्धति. Don't be disrespectful to them. Ah. Or the method that is followed there. Ah. So you go there, have darshan, do pradakshina, ah. do kumari puja, ah. meditate. And for tarapit, tarapit to just have normal darshan. मैंने there are things that can be done. Yeah. Uh, it depends on if you have the tantra diksha and other things. Yeah. But just meditate there. If you're for an ordinary person, if you're going to Maathara's place, so these places like Tarapit and Kamakhya understand two things. One is that you go as a normal darshanarthi. Ah, just. Ah, do bhakti to Ma and you go. Yes. ठीक है. और इफ कोई मन्नत है अगर तू fulfill that. If you have to do sadhana, pick up a ashtottara nama astuti. Okay. Of the deity, hmm. hundred eight names, hmm. and you sit there, and you keep chant, chant that, meditate. and the normal darshan you have and come back come so these places when you are talking of sadhana then places like kamakya and tarapit are your examination halls hmm. yeah this is not your home to start practice ah, chalu ah, karte ya ah, waisa nahi ah. things that are working at your home ah. wo cheez wahan pe up karenge to aapko pata chalega ki ye actually kaam kar raha hai ki nahi aur ah. whether you where you are ha ah. what is your condition hmm. signs you will get around aur usi se pata chal jayega ki aapko kahan pe weakness hai kahan pe strength hai kya karna hai um last few questions yes uh please tell us the difference between the tarapit mass mashan and manikandika mass mashan uh there is a wide difference there is a wide i again i'm speaking from my perspective Haan. okay manikandika mashan is very pure hmm. i feel bhairav baba's presence is very strong it's very pure and uh, whenever i have meditated here or for some time so there is a more or less a protective aura around you i feel that it is not a place where people can do too much negative things okay this is there is a safety in that it may look very all inspiring and because of these days photography and all that that's there of course yes. and there is a classical idea for it's been going on for a long time so there is a purity in that so there is i feel that so long as you have pure bhakti to bhairav baba yes. um and generally your mind is not to disturbed by tribulation yeah. wrong once in a while average people come and yes. go yes. there and so all right yes. there is a protection there sort of ha if you are trying too many uh, karma kanda on the yeah. stunts that is uh, you up to you <laughs> yeah. that is uh, then to you know what yes ha. yes true then even crossing a road is difficult ah. ha, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ha. true tarapit is very different very tarapit is like an open sword it's it's the it's like the mother sword khadga hai na maa ka waisa wala hai tarapit to tarapit you have to know all the methods you have to know how to protect yourself you have to know how to wo jaane nahi hai normal ko if normal not strong. just uh, just <coughs> if you enter the tarapit smashan yeah. there is a place where the feet of maa tara are Haan. there yeah. imprint Haan. where vaam de mama ka pet seen maa tara yeah. to wahan tak jaake pranam karke aa jao don't loiter around don't go thing. on the other side that that primitive ground is, is is uh, it's she literally like a raw sword she 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 plays around in yeah. and and nature is like this i'm uh-huh. telling you wo tarapit smashan jo da ghar pe baith ke na maa tara ka when i have personally uh, once in a while in life when i have faced a difficult situation jiska koi solution nahi mil raha hai mere ko so i start specific sadhanas of maa tara just, uh-huh. just with the idea ki you guide me what to uh-huh. do etc etc invariably she will start with escalation of the problem इन वेरिएबली दो या तीन दिन के अंदर जो आपको दिख रहा है कि यहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम है ना ये यहाँ चला जाएगा एंड दैट इज वेरी योर टेस्ट इज भाग गए तो हो गया हो गया चुपचाप बैठ के करते रहो जब तक अनुष्ठान खत्म नहीं हो रहा है एंड देन देर विल मिराकुलस सोल्यूशन जो आप सोच ही नहीं सकते कब आप, आपके दिमाग में आएगा ही नहीं कर ही नहीं सकते एंड देन यू विल बी लाइक शी इज द बॉस वैसे बट दैट इज अचर हाँ एंड इन द क्रिमेशन ग्राउंड दैट इज तो अवर होम 
स्मशान का ही देवी है माता रा स्मशान तारा ही है एक रूप है उनका जो एक जटा इवन नील सरस्वती माँ का जो रूप है जिसमें ज्ञान का स्वरूप है उनका जो वर्णन है the description of it is also of the cremation ground. There's a the ध्यान है is that स्मशान है then स्मशान there's a lotus like this blooming uh, white yeah. on yeah. that she is sitting there dazzling with light. But it is a cremation ground. वो ऐसा वैसे घर पे नहीं है Territory, वो नॉर्मल uh. वाला लोटस ब्लूमिंग टाइम नहीं है तो मोमेंट द डेटी एंटर्स द क्रिमेशन ग्राउंड जो स्मशान के देवता है उनका स्वरूप उग्र होगा ही होगा अच्छा दूसरी बात है जस्ट टू क्लैरिफाई Just by hearing this conversation and all that, do not try any stunts in any cremation ground. Ah, ha, ha, please, ha. ha very important. Because it is super risky. Very important. And cremation ground, Dubasana. If anybody has to ever do, you will need panchadar. Ha. Satvik me nahi hoga. Nahi. Hoga. Minimum there are at least the first two or three tattvas to give. It is necessary. Only under the instruction of guru. Ha. Apne aap se nahi. दादा एनी पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस एट मनी करने का राइट आई नो दिस इज ऑफ रिकॉर्ड बट नो आई आई हैव मेनी ब्यूटीफुल एक्सपीरियंसेस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपीरियंसेस इन इन दिस घाट्स इन मनी करने का एंड ऑल दैट एट वन पॉइंट आई इज टू स्पेंड कम वेरी ऑफन एंड स्पेंड नाइट्स whole night in the ghats only wow. uh, roaming around manikarnik uh, harishchandra and other places once uh, dot manikarnika close by to that i was doing a homa at night so those day kashi was always a center point to people used to come but yes. those days it was slightly little less uh. abhi to aur bhi zyada ho gaya uh. crowd so it was easier to do one isolated oh ghat i was doing a homa mm. in the middle of the homa i felt very scared acha ye People have this very fancy idea of spirituality कि कोई डर नहीं लगते सब बकवास है सब कुछ लगेगा डर वर्ष सब है so you have to overcome. integrate the, overcome that overcome that that's all how can you remain functional in spite of all this ये है spirituality तपस हाँ so I was remember I was doing the homa in the middle I felt tremendous amount of fear if you ask me what is the scariest thing here it is not money car nikka at night this river becomes scary true there are things inside <laughs> it causes some uh, effects so i was very close by and i felt that something is pulling me out out of my body okay and i couldn't get up it's like a kind of a, for a brief second there was like a like a paralysis condition uh, uh, just taking out my prana and something like that in full force tremendous force i was very close to the river koi there was nobody there and i was sitting down but then in 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 the middle of the homa also i could in difficult states then you have to call on the deity so I, simple bhairav baba ha. so i just kept saying that ha. you know get me out of this ha. Ha. so to call bhairav baba and suddenly i remember i can feel something wet and there is this dog that comes and starts licking my oh. chin and all ha. that ha. and the moment it does that i'm back in my body okay he sent his... and that dog just sat there till the end of the homa पूरा खत्म हुआ सब कुछ हुआ एटलीस्ट रात को आई थिंक इट्स प्रेटी लेट इन द नाइट फिनिश्ड एंड इज हिज ब्लेसिंग ही प्रोटेक्ट्स लाइक एनीथिंग इफ यू हैव फेथ ऑन हिम काशी में हिज हिज ब्लेसिंग इफ यू हैव एवरीथिंग विल गो एवरीथिंग सो दैट्स व्हाट आई फील दिस वाज वन वन एक्सपीरियंस आई हैड काशी इज ब्यूटीफुल वन ऑफ द मोस्ट दादा व्हाट इज द मैसेज फॉर द यूथ हु वांट्स टू इवॉल्व who wants to do sadhana and who wants to be a part so uh, not i see a strong um, change in the mindset in the youth today than it was perhaps when i was uh, in college times and other things uh, so there is a great craving for upasana craving for deities for understanding that and this is a very positive sign i feel it's a blessing from the gods very simply because no human being can cause this change so they want it so they yes. will inspire the yes. minds yes. so my opinion is that start simple sadhana start yes. connecting to one deity think of devatas as real yeah. not something ki text mein likha hua hai purano mein na it's some something a force that is real a force that you can come closer to who can interact with you on a very personal level also but following the paddhat is given yes. don't try new things yeah. new things will not work it's like the when you are following a paddhati that is given in the text it means that wo wala root kaam karta hai aapko pata hai try test it exactly aap kanyakumari se himalaya ja rahe ho theek hai gps laga diya gps means what the root has already been done there are people who have gone there aap naya root ja rahe ho 
आपको कहा हिमालय जा रहे की माउंट आबू जा रहे यही पता नहीं है एंड है सिंपल साधना बट डू कंसिस्टेंटली थ्री टू फोर ईयर यू डू कंसिस्टेंट साधना ऑफ ए देवता and you will get blessed you will have you will feel the experience of that wo jo ek anubhuti hota hai wo khud that's your personal experience nobody else can give it to you so only the deity who can give it to you and you will see changes in your life and that the when we start our sadhana help will come and it is required help will come automatically things will start falling in yes. place yes things will come your karmas will be streamlined have faith yes it is very important so if a remember this if a particular upasana has work for 2000 3000 years that means that the path is correct yes. sometimes your karmas will be very strong yes. so remember that uh, that even if you do not find an immediate effect it is like a bank balance it is yes. like chipping away small small bits of your karmas till you reach a stage where suddenly you will have a lot of experience yes. consistency discipline patience these three things are the key points are the key points for everybody and once it once you get hooked onto it then you don't need to yeah. anybody else to tell yeah. you apne aap se automatically all yes Dada, this is my personal question. In higher states of sadhana, <coughs> the swabhav of the sadhak changes. At one point of time, what is the actual swarup of kalmeno? This is a very difficult question to answer. One of the things that, so you see that I will answer in a philosophical way. So, like the color black, okay. Uh, so, of, uh, the color black has the ability to absorb everything. Everything. There are two colors that is very primary in that sense. One is white; it reflects everything. One is black; it absorbs okay. it. Wherever is black, he can absorb everything. He can digest anything and remain unaffected. That is Bhairav. Yes. That is Bhairav. And I, some of our rishis of the ancient times, I feel their nature and their tendencies when I read them. So they were worship. So Bhairav and Shiva are very same deity same, only. Same. Same deity. Ha. Ek swamma sarup hai. Ek ugra sarup hai. And one of my gurus used to tell me for simple understanding, and I. Used to feel that it was very useful. So Baba, when he is outside uh, in normal society, when Soma Skanda Swarup, when he is there, Parvati is there, so, Sa Uma Skanda ah. with Uma Skand, ये लेके बैठे हुए हैं जो family man type ah. of image है. That is Shankar Bhagwan Shiva. Ah. Moment he enters in the cremation ground, he becomes very upset. Yes. They both are one with different. So this is the Swarup of Bhairava. Eventually, it's like the color black. It can absorb everything. So some of our rishis in ancient times, when I read these um, texts, scriptures, and their natures, I feel that uh, so Bhairava is very closely linked to Shiva, as I mentioned. So they were also like great upasakas of Bhairava. Okay, they were th- that nature reflects in them. So mm. the other thing that will happen is in any deity upasana, by the way, that's a very practical thing. So un- as you go to higher stages, his swabhava will come reflect in the upasana. Huh. So Bhairava's swabhava. There is an element of anger. Mm. It will come in. Okay. ऐसा नहीं है. But why should you be scared of anger? Rishi Durvasa is infamous anger. वो Rishi है. हाँ. हाँ. पैर पकड़ते हैं पूरा दुनिया उनका. हाँ. Infamous anger. हाँ. Right? So कहाँ से आता है? देवता का स्वरूप कहीं ना आता है ना. देवता का स्वरूप. So anger but divine anger. Divine anger. Baba's anger is like this. वो ऐसा नहीं कि अच्छा इसने मुझे ऐसा बोला दस साल तक मैं याद करके रखा वो तुम्हारा problem है. That is not Baba's anger. Anger to evolve. Anger. Anger for righteous cause. Righteous. ये गलत हो रहा है. Immediately the anger will shoot up, and then next moment also he will not. It will not simmer. ऐसा नहीं वो अंदर में रख दिया उसको I have to get. There's no revenge. There's no revenge. Revenge का बात नहीं है. Anger will shoot up, and then when you see that everything is anger will fall down. And you can be the best of friends with that person. Yes. So above of the deity. So above of the deity. He, वो ऐसा नहीं हमारे तरह नहीं है कि वो मैंने रख दिया दिमाग में कि अच्छा दस साल पहले मुझे कुछ बोला था. All that is irrelevant. His anger is not on the person; it's on something that is adharmic. For Which that wrong? moment to evolve that yes. person to make it dharmic. That is that. A... And uh, uh, eventually, eventually, when the purna bhairav swarup comes to an individual, I feel that he, uh, you will, uh, so rule, you will transcend rules. You have to remember that. He starts. What is the devata? When you do puja, you have to read any deity. You have to read the stories of the gods also. Mm. ये पुरानों में जो दिया हुआ है ना स्टोरीज हैव स्पिरिचुअल मीनिंग्स सो भैरवा इज वन हु स्टार्ट्स विद डीकैपिटेटिंग द हेड ऑफ ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा का पहले जो किया है वो वाज भैरव बाबा फर्स्ट थिंग बिकॉज़ व्हाई ब्रह्मा बिकॉज़ वेरी प्राउड ठीक है ही बिकॉज़ वेरी प्राउड वन विद द नेल सट खत्म एंड देन ही गोस रोमिंग अराउंड एंड देयर इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्टेटमेंट ही गोस टू ही हैज द खप्पर इन हिज हैंड ब्रह्मांड खप्पर हां ब्रह्मांड 
So what does that mean? The whole universe is skull in his hand. Mm. And he's going begging with that. It's a Leela he is doing, basically. Mm. And he goes to Vishnu Loka and there's a conversation and Vishnu is telling him that you are Shiva only. Yeah. Why are you just playing ah, around so? Ah, ah, like ah. This. And then he comes to Kashi yeah. and then the skull Kapal drops. Or in imitation of Bhairava, the la, the original Ogre and Kapali Kavans, they used to carry the skull of... Ah. But the point is, when the Bhairava Tattva comes very deep in the individual, you will have a steadiness inside you that you are not scared of anything. It's not that the world's solution is for you. But if anything happens, I don't care. Steadiness. Very steadiness. That is the foundation. On that foundation, the sadhanas that one can do, that is why he is the Guru of Tantra Mahan. Tantra is the most beautiful. Yeah, Dakshina Kali. If you see the iconography of Maha Dakshina Kali, there is the Ishwar Tattva, there is Sadashiva, there is Mahakal, Bhairav. On that Dakshina Kali is sitting there. She is sitting there. और त्रिपुरसुंदरी में भी there is there is this ये प्रेतासना and all these आसन्स और all the और there is a deity one of the आंध्र गेटेस कॉल्ड कुब्जी का देवी नवातन भैरव के ऊपर she sits basically it is an indication that until भैरव prepares your mind and body you simply can't take that शक्ति he is the आधार है that is holding that शक्ति और किसी में दम है ही नहीं वो चीज लेने का handle करे ऐसे पूजा तो आप किसी का भी कर सकते हो, but he is talking about when enter into the states of सिद्धि, communion with those deities, it is भैरव बाबा who prepares the ground. बिना उनके तंत्र साधना में succeed करना बहुत मुश्किल है। तो impossibly मान रहे हैं तरह से। He will he will blesses you to he creates your mind and body, makes it steady. Then anything and everything can happen. For example, just a thought passed. Swami Vivekananda once was asking Ramakrishna Paramahamsa when he was not yet famous. It's a very beautiful story. He asks Ramakrishna that so many people come to you and then they have so many experiences. Nothing happens to me. So why is it that? So Ramakrishna starts laughing and he tells him that these people are like those small buckets of water that are kept there. हाँ ऐसे रखा हुआ है तो if you put a fish into रखा हुआ है तो if you put a fish into that bucket so he used to give very rustic examples village village है जैसे example तो वो लोग जब when we take the rahu and the katla which we was very popular in Bengal side ना yes तो you put it in a small bucket of water and the moment the fish tail turns its tail this side water spills out okay so he is saying that then he is saying to Swami ji Swami Vivekananda he was not Swami Vivekananda at that time he was not famous I just used to come there and telling him that you are like that pond that is there in that village. Huh? Ah. So what happens in that pond that is so vast that these big fishes are roaming around, there is no ripple in the upper. Okay. Ah. It's a fantastic analogy of Adhara. Swamiji's Adhara is so powerful, he's saying that thousands of experiences will happen, but if you sit with bed, you don't know what's happening with you. His integration is so powerful. Mm. He is Shiva Swarup. Ah. For ordinary people, ah. small buckets of water, little experience will happen, they'll jump around, they'll what's happening with you? Because the Adhara is weak. This, this, this creation of the Adhara is what Shiva Bhairava blesses a person. This is the Shetrapal. This is Shetra, and the Shetra is the Baba. Yes, yes. So this is how it is. <laughs> Thank you, Dada. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank speaking. you. Thank you, Dada.